I think it, it is, uh, it, that, that could be a role of the future planner to, to teach the unintended planner about the consequences of planning. Because uh, we have the problem at the municipality that people keep waiting on each other, that, uh, that uh, yeah, issues are very complex and uh, yeah, like we, we, we know what to do basically, but nobody knows how to do it and we has to do what first. And then often, uh, like the, the 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 room you get to plan, or the the um, uh, is, is often defined by uh, a lot of people who are not involved in the planning process, by procedures, by uh, regulation, or something they have to do first, and other people have to wait, or they made not their uh, aims clear to the planners. So um, yeah, we thought it would be very helpful to have a process of mutual planning. And we developed a course for all our, uh, yeah, for all people in the in the municipality of Rotterdam to, um, yeah, to follow a planning training, uh, in the sense that we uh, say uh, I'm working myself. I'm working for the social department, but I have a planning background. So we said we we uh, we place the social issue or the social problem we want to place central, and we invite everybody to uh, involve a planning process. But we also teach planning skills, so we make uh, clear what uh, kind of consequences their planning intentions could have in terms of urban quality or sustainability. And uh, we uh, uh, we try to uh, arrange groups where in every group is a real planner, and for non-real planners, like in unintended planners, like uh, uh, people working for the health department or for the social department, people dealing with unemployment, this kind of stuff. So we try to to uh, evoke and uh, like an interdisciplinary planning process in teams. And we did that uh, the first round last year uh, in a training, and we see that it's working very well. People are very happy to work it with each other. And I uh, recognize a lot of uh, aggressive language uh, we, we, we talked about right now that uh, uh, people talking about spatial claims. Uh, we have that at the municipality as well, especially with the densification strategies in the inner city center, that we are not talking about opportunities anymore, but about I claim this space for my uh, facility and I claim this space for my transport transportation needs. So we are not thinking about anymore about the, the, the product or the, uh, the vision we want to create, the city we want to create. We just um, yeah, talk about our own piece of cake we want to have in this planning process. And uh, we have seen in the course of in the training that when, when we give people the, the chance to, uh, to talk about uh, win-win situations, uh, about uh, what can I do for you? What can we do for me? And what can we reach? Uh, what can we achieve together? That it really helps to uh, define an integrated strategy um, that they realize what other people need and how can they respond to these needs. So we had very positive feedbacks and now we are entering the second round. And I think initially we really want to train. We started with 20, 20 people working for the municipality now and we are now training the next round. But uh, we are already talking about uh, scaling up, like uh, really having everybody trained. <laughs>